Hi everybody, welcome back. So today what I want to go over is how to host doors into curtain walls and generally how to modify pre-made curtain walls. Alright, so as we covered in the previous lesson, we have our curtain grids, uh, which you can see demonstrated here in the center, and then your mullions, like on the right, which you can add to them after you've set up the grid lines. Now each system has its own dimensionality to it, and you can always modify them, even the existing curtain grids. Now, to modify a curtain grid, uh, you can always click on one, but the system itself might have parameters already in it. So to change those, we'll click on Edit Type, and you'll see a vertical grid spacing and a horizontal grid spacing. So I'll minimize this so it's easier to see. So if I change the vertical grid to 10 feet and hit Apply, you'll see that the grid spacing has changed. So under the type parameters of the exterior glazing, when we click on Edit Type, you can change these values to the dimension that you need. Sometimes, though, we want to get rid of grid lines uh, in a certain amount. Or we may want to keep it uh, nice and concise. So if you want to remove a grid line or any part of it, uh, you can actually click on the grid line. And if you click the unpin button that appears, you can actually modify the grid line. Now, in order to pin or unpin an element, uh, which is basically like locking or unlocking a layer, there's a pin button up in the toolbar. You can use the keyboard shortcut, PN. And to unpin, you can hit the unpin button or the keyboard command, UP. So once you've unpinned a grid line, that means you can actually drag and move it around because it's no longer locked in to that initial setting. Even if you went into the edit type command and set different properties for the grid lines, once you unpin it, it no longer follows those settings. Now if you want to remove a segment from an existing set of grid lines, go to the architecture tab. Remember that under the architecture tab and curtain grids, we did one line segments already. But even those have segments all the way throughout. That lets the grid line carry on throughout the entire piece. So even though you don't see the grid line, the whole extension of that grid line can carry through the whole wall. Now if you want to add another grid line, and in the same level with the existing one, what you have to do is click off of that segment, and then click the Add Remove Segments button. So once we hit that button, we can click on the segment that we want that's in line with the existing segment. Now you can use this exact same method to remove segments that you don't want anymore. So all you have to do is click on the Add Remove Segment button, and then you can go in and click on any of the segments you've already put in, and it'll remove them. So now I want to talk about how to host certain elements into these curtain systems. So let's try to set up a door. We're going to go and click on the Door button in the toolbar. We're going to need to load in a curtain wall door. So we'll then click on the Load Family button, we'll make sure we're indoors, and then you'll see three options. There's a curtain wall double door, a single door, and a storefront door. You can load in any of the three of these, and you can also download other ones. But for now, let's hit Double Doors, and we'll go ahead and load that in. But if we go in to add the door, uh, click on Door, and then look under the Family, you'll see that it doesn't say that our double door is actually loaded. This can be extremely confusing at first, because there was no message saying that the door wasn't loaded. So where is it? Well, because the curtain wall door belongs to curtain walls, it's actually under the curtain wall family. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to click on curtain grids, and I'm going to set up two grid lines. All right. Okay and I'm going to set them six feet apart, and I'll do another segment running horizontally at about eight feet between them. So now we have things primed for our double door. Uh, we can select any of the grid lines very easily, or even the entire grid system. One thing you may have to do, though, is highlight one of the lines. So just hover your mouse over one of the lines, and then cycle through the different objects that you have using your tab key. 
So if I put my mouse over that middle segment and start hitting tab, you'll see one of the panels get selected. And there's the other one. So again, we got this just by highlighting one of the segments and hitting tab until we got where we wanted. Once we've highlighted the panel we want, we're going to click on it. Under the Properties window now, we can do anything we want to this system panel. Exchange it for anything that's already loaded, even just a wall. But we're going to select the curtain wall double glass door. Now I made the grid lines this size, because if you click on the curtain wall door, you'll see the dimensions are exactly 6 feet by 8 feet. But if I shift one of the curtain grids over, you'll notice the door gets bigger. The reason for this is in contrast to wall hosted doors, curtain wall doors are parametric to the curtain grid system. So in other words, once you move or alter in some way the grid system, the door will adapt to fit it. So if we put a horizontal grid line in right between our door, you'll see that it actually doubles it. So now if you cycle through, click on your panel, and go under the Properties window, we can change it back to a glazed system panel, for instance, just like the rest of the panels. And now it's back to a panel. Uh, so that's basically how you go into curtain walls, insert doors, and adjust the sizes. This is even reflected when you go into the floor plan view. So if we click on the curtain wall, uh, we can tab through just like before, and we can adjust the size of the grids and then of the door, making it either smaller or bigger. Alright, well, we will just move on to the next lesson.